Hi guys. So here is an overview of my makeup storage. Um, I have the Alex 9 drawers from Ikea. There's it top to bottom there. And on top I have my perfume. Okay, I have the Forever Red by Bath & Body Works. Uh, Marc Jacobs Lola. I have the Dior Addict that I just talked about in a recent video. My Victoria's Secret Love Spell. In this container I have some roller balls. I have a few Tokidoki ones. This is a Chloe one. And there's just a few other samples of perfumes that I got in beauty boxes that I want to try out but just haven't as of yet. I also have this La Vanilla one. And I kind of forget that I have these because they're behind all of these other perfume bottles. Behind all of the perfume, I have some makeup brushes. Um, these are face brushes, Real Technique ones, mostly Real Technique ones. Back here are some Sigma ones. And then over here are the eye brushes. And I just have them in like three little containers. Okay, now that is the overview of the top of the Alex 9 drawers. Let's get into the top drawer. Now this is the overall look at this drawer. I tried to separate things into each of these boxes. These are four birch box boxes that I've repurposed for storage just to try to keep things somewhat organized, but as you can see, it hasn't worked out too well. I have my La Matte lipstick, Sugar Bomb gloss, my MAC Strawberry Malt gloss from the Archie collection, loved Archie. I have the Sugar Fresh lip treatment, some Buxom glosses, this Nivea lip butter that I've never opened. And I got this not that long ago. This was one of those colors that Sephora introduced as like color of the year or something and they had a limited number of these so I picked one up and that's the Pantone Universe. Moving over to the second box I have some more lip glosses. I have Lorac. I have some of these lip pencils from NYX. Um, some MAC lipsticks. My Dior lip gloss. The Bare Essentials lip glosses. I love Buxom lip gloss. Love every single one of them. I have another one here. And I have these Tarte lip, I don't even know what they're called, but I do not use these. I have not used these in a while. Probably should have included them in my products I forgot that I owned because I totally forgot that they were down here. Victoria's Secret lip gloss, still unopened. Okay, and I have my OCC lip tars. Love these, super love them. Don't talk about them enough though. Here I have some EOS lip balms lined up. Going back into the back storage, I have some lipsticks. I have a lot of drugstore lipsticks back here. Um, this is the Revlon Cotton Candy one. This is CoverGirl, and this is in the shade Enthrall Charm. That's really pretty, and it's never been used. You know what, okay. I'm gonna stop going through every single one of these here because we'll be here all day. I have this Buxom set with Rebecca and Sugar in it. They're just the mini lip glosses. Really cute packaging. I just adore lip products and this drawer is a testament to that. Right here I have the mini Tarte lip glosses that I got in one of the holiday kits that I just keep there for now. And then back here I have the Kat Von D Spellbinding Lipstick Set. This drawer consists mostly of loose eyeshadows and mascaras, unopened mascaras. I have the Lash Blast Volume, Maybelline Great Lash. This is remover, makeup remover sticks I got in a glossy box. I have Dior, Dior Show Blackout, Maybelline Great Lash, and this is a colored one in Very Berry Limited Edition. And just a bunch of mascaras and liners. I have some of these Tarte Smolder Eyes eyeliners. And Julep actually sent a mascara at one point. I've never used it, but I have it. Some e.l.f. sharpeners. And 
more mascara and mascara curling things. Over here I have single eyeshadows and duos. This is so pretty. I got this from Victoria's Secret maybe two years ago and I love it. Look at the sparkle in that gray. I just think you're so pretty. Um, I have Stila Kitten. I've got a color tattoo in Edgy Emerald. It's a really pretty green. Some NYX single ones. Some All May color sticks. I'm not really a big fan of these because I don't think they show up at all. I have some single Rimmel eyeshadows. And MAC Paint Pot and Indian Wood. I have Painterly over here somewhere. And this beautiful single MAC shade. This is Beauty Mark. I think I talked about this briefly before, but I saw it around maybe October, the MAC counter, and it is gorgeous. Back here, I have some Anastasia products. I have the Clear Brow Gel and the Brow Wiz that I haven't used yet. I have some Wet n Wild palettes as well as some Revlon palettes. Some eyeliners that usually go over there. And more eyeliners and mascaras back here. I have M by Michelle Phan. Hearts Lights Camera Lashes. And just a plethora of eyeliners. Brown, black, some colors. Some NYX Jumbo Sticks are in the back as well. This drawer is my face makeup drawer. I have a lot of foundations, foundations, concealers, powders, and some more foundations back here. I have a few of these Age Rewind ones that haven't been used as of yet. I have NARS Sheer Glow down here. Some of the Bare Minerals, little tiny ones, uh, mask foundations and concealers. CoverGirl Concealer, Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, what's this, this is a Stila Concealer Stick, over here I've got my Estee Lauder Double Wear, my Smashbox, my Matte Velvet Plus, Chanel Perfection Lumiere, I have an Age Rewind that I actually have used. And in the back here, I have this Sephora foundation that's like a spray one that I got um, not too long ago. The Dream Lumi by L'Oreal True Match. I don't even know what a DD cream is. Okay, a Dynamic Do All Cream. I also have the Hourglass Immaculate Foundation that I have yet to use, but I do want to use this uh, fairly soon so that I can do a review on it while it's still relevant. And then in the final box back here, again, using these birch boxes over, I have my setting powders. I have a Lorac one, a Sue Debit one, um, a Makeup Forever Pro Finish, and I have a couple of these MAC ones as well, Mineralized Skin Finish, and I have this one that I've, I came across that I have not used. This is an Urban Decay Razor Sharp Ultra Definition Finishing Powder. This is in my blush, bronzer, and highlighter drawer. I have some MAC blushes. This is Peaches. Really pretty. This is from the Wonder Woman collection. I also have a NYX Cream Blush, my Hourglass Ambient Light Lighting Powder, some more MAC blushes. This is in the color Desert Rose. I forgot about this. This is such a pretty color, isn't it? It's really pretty. Okay, back here, oh, I have the Chanel Soleil. I don't even know. It says Soleil Tan de Chanel, but I've heard people, like, enunciate it as Soleil de Tain. I don't know which way is correct. Whichever way, I have it. Um, I have the Candlelight Highlighter. And this is something that I, if I don't use it, I'm gonna smack myself. This is the NARS Guy Bourdain Blush Palette. And it has Orgasm in it, which is perfect because I was gonna buy another Orgasm one anyway. 
but I have not used this palette as much as I should have. Like, look at how gorgeous those shades are. And I, I, I need to get it together and start using it. Totally forgot I had this. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I think I got this in a kit two Black Fridays ago. Smells like chocolate. And over here, I just have some lashes. I have these pretty lashes with like little rhinestones on them from Sephora. And a bunch of e.l.f. lashes, which I should just throw away. The bands are so thick. And I got them because they were only a dollar, so I got a bunch of them. And then I was like, oh my god, they suck. I can't even use them. This is my primer slash perfume sample slash makeup bag storage drawer. So in here, I have a bunch of primer samples that I want to use up, but moving those aside, these, this is in a glossy box box. I have the Porefessional, the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer, oil-free, Sephora. I have the Hourglass Primer, my favorite. Um, what is this? This is a Lancome Primer. I've never used it. Another Sephora primer. I got a sample of this primer in a beauty box. I don't remember which one, but I do remember that I liked it. But I have no idea. No idea what it, like who makes it or no clue. Um, this is the Caudalie Vino Perfect. And what's this? Laura Geller Spackle. Here is an hourglass set. Again, I told you guys I love the Hourglass Primer. So I have the primer and the primer serum in here. Back here are Ipsy bags. And this is a Sephora bag. Glossy box bag. More Ipsy bags. Just try to keep them there. These are perfume samples. Some of them I need to take out of the packaging that they came in like those. But these are all perfume samples. And you guys saw how much perfume I have up here. I need to go through these and find some new scent. Viva La Juicy La Fleur is one that I want to purchase immediately. Can't believe I haven't bought this yet. I love the way this smells. And moving on. Now, this is my palette drawer. I keep mostly all of my palettes in here because it's just more simple that way, at least for me, without having them cluttering up my desk. So I have my MAC palette, my Marc Jacobs palette, I have the Lorac Pro to Go, um, Urban Decay Vice 2, Lorac Pro, my Meat Matte palette that I have not seen in a month of Sundays, my... Kat Von D Spellbinder palette. I have this Makeup Forever Technicolor palette that I think I did a tutorial with this past summer. It's just got some really pretty bright colors. Moving down further, I have some NYX palette. I have a NYX palette, my Lorac Unzipped palette, my Nude Tude palette by The Balm, and I have a few Tarte palettes because I bought a few Tarte or a couple Tarte holiday sets this year. This is one of them. Here is the other one. And this is another Tarte, like this big one under here. Urban Decay palette, Naked Basics. Um, this was a MAC holiday set that I got maybe two years ago and I was not a fan. The pigmentation on the shadows are horrible and again I have another another Tarte palette here and then I have my e.l.f. ones on the bottom. So this drawer is pretty full. Um, I definitely don't believe I can fit any more palettes in here. Oh, how could I forget my Naked palettes? Like, what? Naked 3 and my Naked 2. And that's the palette drawer. 
Now here comes just the unseemly side of my makeup collection. This is a drawer of samples. I tried to keep this drawer only for hair care and I realized that I had so much skincare because of how many beauty boxes I have that the skincare was going to spill over from the next drawer into this one. So I have some of these mud pack masks from Ulta. Um, some hair care stuff. I have my Clarisonic store down in there. Um, some more hair stuff. I have a couple of the Michael Todd masks. This is a hair mask by Brazilian Blowout. More hair care. My hand food. This is some kind of conditioning treatment, I believe, for your hair. Got it in a beauty box. I have some Ulta cotton pads. And more hair care. More hair care. This is something by... Nick Chavez Root Lifting Spray. This is Bamboo Luminous Shine Mist. This is a sample of the Caviar Shampoo and Conditioner by Alterna. I'm really, I'm thinking about buying this in full size because it's a moisture shampoo and I've heard good things about it. And I totally didn't realize that I had a sample right here. So that's good, I'll try it out. So there's just a lot, a lot, a lot of samples in this drawer. And this is one of the bigger ones in the Alex 9 set and it's full. like. Bottom to top. Let's move into the next one. Oh, can't even shut it. Okay, now this is what was supposed to have been just the skincare drawer. What's comical about this drawer, aside from the sheer amount of products in it, is that this drawer has so many products, some of them have fallen behind, like behind the drawer, and I can't get to them without like completely picking up this system and I would have to remove everything that's in it to do that. That's not gonna happen. More samples, what is this? This is the Murad Advanced Active Radiant Serum. Um, this is some kind of concentrate, I don't even know. I have some wipes, a mask, the Julep Queen Helene mask from Delaney Beauty Reserve, rejuvenating eye cream, but never used it. I have this sample from Dermatologica. This is their pre-cleanse, which I do plan to use. I've been planning to use it for I don't even know how long. I have some D-Slick Volgari body wash, a Volgari soap that I really wanna use because it smells delicious. This is what I was talking about. These two drawers, this drawer and then the one above it, that are just so full of products that are, it's, they're full to the brim. I can't fit anymore. So I'm really gonna have to rethink some of my beauty boxes until I can at least get through some of this stuff or I find more storage. And we come to the final, I can't even shut this thing. Chase, the final drawer is where I store my nail polish. Now, as you can see, there's not just nail polish in here. I have a bunch of like nail items. These are makeup remover pads from Target, um, some nail grooming items. But once I move everything off of the top here, I have some Impress nails. This nail design pen is something I've never used. I do want to try that at some point. These cute little nail files by Tweezerman. Now these are the nail polishes and it goes back pretty far. Um, I don't, I really need to go through these and shake them up on occasion. And I really need to organize them better, but I have a few of my Butter London ones together in some attempt at like, you know, organization. A lot of my polish is from Julep because I am subscribed to their beauty box. Which again, I'm gonna have to either unsubscribe to them until I can get through some of this nail. This is such a pretty, and I don't think I've ever worn this. I don't know if you guys can see like 
the green iridescence in this and it's like a really pretty teal what is this called stag do I did not realize that I had this I have my NARS Andy Warhol I love this because it's bright orange and I will only wear it in the fall got some Sephora by OPI some more julep some color club um, some sinful colors this is a really pretty one show stopping I got this from the Maryland collection this is kid orange it's just another orange one this is from Illamasqua and this is like a green just like a deep forest green one I have some Zoya back here this is pretty what color is this in Nev maybe it's Nieve I don't know it's pretty though what color is this this is Gris Montague I think this is a gray yeah this is a just a muted gray so again this is an overview of the nail polish drawer I'm gonna throw all of these nail items back in here because that's where they live for now so again we have the nail polish drawer the skincare drawer the skincare slash hair care drawer the palette drawer the primer makeup bag perfume sample drawer blush highlighter bronzer and false lash drawer face makeup eye makeup lippies and perfume and brushes oh yeah and the perfume bottles are sitting on this mirrored like little decorative thing that I found at home goods I believe it was really cheap and that's it that is my entire makeup collection